Well, Thursday evening vlog. I just took a couple of extra strength Tylenol because the story I was working on, yeah, kind of gave me a migraine doing all of the writing and that with it. Because, of course, handwrite it first and then type it out. And I had to pace myself with, like, big time. But I did get it in on time, which I'm happy about. It's a story on a project that two of my Métis friends have been working on. And um, it's quite a different type of story. It's still artistic, still very creative in terms of the action that uh, Andrea Menard and uh, Leah Dorian, the project that they created together, Andrea's idea, and Leah came on board to help with other parts of it. In any case, uh, just to chase off my cat there. Uh, banjo, because I'm also trying to have my uh, good night tea. It's a honey chamomile vanilla, and she's taken a liking to it. No, I do not have any milk in it. I mean, I uh, recently developed lactose intolerance, which I hate. Absolutely hate it, because I used to love drinking milk, having ice cream, anything like that. So I've had to change a lot of things in my diet, which I hate. But in any case, the chamomile element in this tea helps put me to sleep at night. So that, along with the extra strength Tylenol, should knock me out pretty good. In any case, I'm just going to get to bed here soon. I want to get most of that tea down, though, because I know little Miss Thunderfeet there She'll come over here, she'll knock things over, probably break my cup. Um, so I do at night, I finish up what I can, and I sit the cup on the floor so that way she can't knock it over. Um, but yeah, I, I want to get rested up. So I go to the game tomorrow night. Yay, go Raiders, go. I'm trying to sound enthusiastic, but I have a migraine. And I realize with some horror that... <laughs> Starting in January, I'm going to be having a lot more of these things because I'm going back to school and I'll be doing my grad studies work. Probably working at least eight or ten hours a day each day on either my screenplay or my 15,000 word paper which is divided up in about four sections. So work on one of those quarters. And, or work on the uh, series Bible for the first season. And the lookbook, which is like showing the locations, showing the type of costuming I'm thinking of, showing the look of the actors and actresses I want to use. Because that's been kind of changing a bit over time as to what I'm expecting or what I'm hoping for. But in any case, yeah, I'll be starting that in January and I'll have to allot my time accordingly. Which means that if I'm at a game and I happen to have a binder with me or something, it's probably going to be them doing my school work. I will still be bringing my knitting to work on during the games, but in the preamble part, I'll probably be working on my school work a bit. So, uh, gentlemen, if you're watching this, don't worry about it. Um, if I happen to be working on that, all that means is you're doing your job on the ice. I'm doing my job in the stands. And what I'm getting paid for with different scholarships and grants and that, oh God. And of course, my good old student loan. Sorry. Um, you guys are lucky, though, that you're earning one year's worth of tuition for each year that you're in hockey and that it's something that the WHL manages for you to keep it safe. Um, in any case, um, I just hope that um, you guys win tomorrow night. I'll be there. I'll be cheering. I'm debating whether or not I'll bring my uh, script with me or not because I have some ideas with it because I've changed a few things with it since I started writing it. But, um, and some uh, ideas for the characters as well. 
But in any case, see you guys all later on the flip side. Have a good night.